Hey guys, welcome back to another Plan With Me Monday. I have my DIY composition planner here. And this week I went through my scrap paper, which I have a whole series going on this week with. But I found this um, remnants of Echo Park Fashionista, and I thought I would use that as my weekly layout. So this is what I have. This is my um, what's left over of the stickers and these little three by fours. And then this is what's left over of the paper pack. So lots of fun colors to work with this week. You know my favorite colors are gold and pink and mint and what do you know? They're all in this paper collection. So those are the main colors of the paper collection and those are some of the washies that I chose. Today we are planning for Monday, January 13th through Sunday, January 19th. And I know I don't have anything written on my schedule, but that does not mean that stuff is not going to pop up. And that's why it's so important to plan even if you don't have anything written down yet. So I am going to choose what kind of layout I want today. Again, why I love my composition notebook planner. I get to choose what kind of layout I want. So this week I decided I wanted to do a vertical layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just lay out my washi tape the way that I want it. And I'm using these stamps that I ordered from Amazon. I ordered them last month sometime. They were fairly cheap and I knew that I was going to be doing um, this composition planner, which is why I ordered the stamps. Cause I thought, I, I see people using the days of the week stickers and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so pretty, but I don't have, I, I can't be buying stickers constantly. So I thought, oh, I'll just get the stamps and I already have the ink pad and there you go. That takes care of the problem. So now I'm measuring out where I want my lines to be to give me, you know, a semi equal days of the week. And then Saturday and Sunday go together for me because as I say all the time, I don't really plan for the weekends because weekends are kind of like open for me. Um, we don't have young kids, so we don't have like birthday parties to attend or anything like that. Um, we don't really have a lot of family in the area, so we don't have like tons of get togethers to schedule. So I don't really plan for the weekends. So that's why I put Saturday and Sunday just in one column.
like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free I just cut a strip of this paper into a banner because I wanted to put the January sticker on there but when I put the January sticker up to the paper it looked like it just kind of blended in so I was like oh it needs something behind it so I just used this colorful paper behind it to get it to stand out a little bit more I don't know which process you guys like better, so I'm going to ask you, do you guys like it better when I speed things up and I leave it all in or when I kind of cut and paste the video but leave it in real time? Um, I wasn't sure which way flowed better. I know that sometimes I don't like things sped up because I don't get to see the creative process when people are crafting, so that's why I decided to leave my planning at real speed other than the stamping because I was literally stamping Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Um, but so let me know down in the comment section. Do you like it when I speed the videos up and leave the whole thing whole or do you like it when I keep things at the regular pace and just edit the video. Let me know down in the comments below. I 
love these little post-it note stickers. These are out of the Happy Memory Keeping um, sticker book from me and my big idea. Ideas. I don't just have one idea. I have many ideas. Me and my big ideas. Okay guys, like I said, I don't really have a lot to put on my calendar quite yet, but that does not mean that my calendar will not be full by the end of the week because stuff pops up daily, which is why, again, I will tell you it is important to make a plan, even when you have nothing to put on it, make a plan because trust me, your week will be full by the end of the week, even if it's just tiny things such as, oh, I forgot that I wanted to get that load of delicates done today. Oh, I forgot I wanted to do all of the towels in the house today. Oh, I forgot I said I was going to go ahead and mop the kitchen floor today. Just little things like that that you want to write down somewhere and your planner is the perfect place for it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you stay tuned for this week. We are doing a Oh, we're doing a use your scraps this week because I went through my scraps and oh boy, let me tell you, I went all the way back to like, let me see, August, I think. I've been hoarding my paper scraps since August. So let me tell you, it was like a day project. So we are going to go through our scraps and we are going to use our scraps this week for different project ideas. So stay tuned for this week's um, videos and make sure you like and subscribe to Chaotic Mom. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a video and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.